Hey guys, Patrick Kenyatta here from Netflix.com. Now, kung nagustuhan niyo Oppo F3 pero having a 6-inch device is not your cup of tea, then Oppo still got you. This is the Oppo F3, the F3 Plus is smaller brother, and this is our full review. The Oppo F3 shares pretty much the same design cues with its larger brother, the Oppo F3 Plus. Yun nga lang, mas maliit tong device nito. This thing has a 5.5 inch screen, while its bigger brother is a 6 incher. While the Oppo F3 Plus is still undeniably big, it still feels small and compact, especially since I came from a larger device, which is the Oppo F3 Plus. For me, this smartphone has just the right size and weight. Hindi siya ganun kalaki at hindi rin naman siya ganun kaliit. The Oppo F3 is also beautifully crafted in unibody metal, which is now a standard for a device in this caliber. At kung hindi pa medyo obvious sa iba, medyo kamukha talaga siya ng iPhone. The reminiscent looks came from its all-white face, subtle rounded corners, and the metal backplate. These characters are some of the staple looks of Apple's smartphone. Probably one distinguishable difference between between this device and the Oppo F3 Plus is the missing 6-string antenna bands. The set design touch is no missing in the Oppo F3, which is really disappointing considering that, despite it is visually minuscule, it brought an extra spice to the device's almost boring look. Quite interestingly, Oppo used a slightly different kind of display on the F3. What we have here is a 1080p in-cell screen. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, an in-cell display basically combines both the actual LCD display and the touch sensors into a single layer. At dahil dito, it makes the device lightweight overall or giving an extra space to house other important hardware like a larger battery. Quality-wise, the screen is almost comparable to an IPS panel. It is bright, with vibrant colors and deep blacks. It is also obviously sharp thanks to its 1080p resolution. And speaking of battery, there's a 3200 battery inside of this device, which were able to last me for about 10 hours before it reached 20%. Now, this means that you can confidently use it during a normal work or school day and still have some juice left to use when you get home. Katulad na ng ibang devices that are out in the market today, kailangan mo din talagang i-charge itong Oppo F3 every night. Now, siguro ang magpapataas ng kilay ng mga karamihan ay yung processor na meron itong device na to. Para sa medyo pricey niyang price tag na 16,990 pesos, meron lamang siyang 1.5GHz MediaTek Octa processor instead of opting for a Qualcomm Snapdragon. But thankfully, it is backed up by 4GB of RAM. Performance-wise, I mean, okay naman siya. It was able to cope up with my daily use. It was able to game comfortably with decent frame rates. Although, kung medyo papili talaga kayo, at sobrang heavy nung ginagawa niya sa mga smartphones niyo, then mukhang hindi talaga ito sasapat para sa inyo. Siguro ang pinaka-okay lang sa chipset na to ay yung kanyang 4GB of RAM. I was able to switch between different apps seamlessly at mabilis rin mag-load yung bawat application. Ngayon mapunta tayo sa highlight ng device na to. Itong Oppo F3 has a 16 megapixel front facing camera for selfies at meron pang isang 8 megapixel wide angle shooter for group shots. Quality wise, yung 16 megapixel syempre ay sharp talaga with decent contrast and saturation. At sobrang liwanag din ng images kahit sa low light. While yung wide angle naman also has the same quality although hindi nga lang sya syempre ganun ka sharp katulad ng 16 megapixel na nasa tabi niya. At maliban sa pagkuha ng group shots, itong secondary camera ay ginagamit din to achieve yung bokeh effect sa selfies. Basically, itong bokeh effect really blurs the background. Yung nga lang, despite already having two cameras utilized, hindi sobrang seamless yung pagkakapartition ng foreground sa background. As you can see, sa corners ng mukha or damit ko, hindi maayos yung pagkakablur. Maliban sa dual front camera, meron din syempre siyang camera sa likod. This one has a 13 megapixel shooter at the back with LED flash. The images you can take on this thing is really impressive it has good colors and contrast, sharpness is on point, the dynamic range is decent, and the depth of field is surprisingly good. Other than the impressive set of cameras, the fingerprint on the F3 is also top notch. It is possibly one of the fastest that we have ever tested. Itong fingerprint scanner na to also doubles as a home button. Ang ginawa ng Oppo is they have removed the mechanical button on this device. So a slight tap on the sensor jumps you back to the home screen. You can also enable Google Now via this button. 
And speaking of Google now, this thing only runs on Android Marshmallow. Which is really disappointing considering that almost a lot of new devices, even the ones that were released before this one, already has Android 7.0 Nougat running on them. Now, ang mas masama pa dito, because of their color OS interface, medyo matatagalan talaga ang opos pag-release ng Android Nougat since they still need to tailor it to work seamlessly with the color OS interface. And speaking of the interface, I have encountered a lot of people actually liking its design. These people favored its simple, minimalistic, and iPhone-ish looks. It looks like Oppo used the same Helvetica new on the system fonts. The native app's icons looks very identical to Apple's. The buttons on the drop-down menu are probably the most blatantly copied of them all, the camera app. Well, basically, that's it. Overall, I think the Oppo F3 is a good device. Meron siyang okay na display, capable na processor, sobrang bilis na fingerprint scanner, at syempre, yung impressive na cameras, both sa harap at sa likod. Yun nga lang, of course, maraming pa rin ako naging problema sa device na to. Una, siguro yung design. I mean, for me, medyo parang boring na talaga yung design ng device na to. Sobrang kamukha na siya ng mga devices before it, tsaka yung mga devices rin na galing sa mga ibang kumpanya. Pangalawa, syempre, yung kanyang outdated na software version. Ngayon, kagaya na sabi ko kanina, this thing only runs on Android Marshmallow although possible pa rin naman na magkaroon ng NuGet update although yun nga ulit sabi ko kanina mukhang matatagalan pa bago ma-update itong device na to at siguro yung isang pinakamalaking dahilan kung bakit nagdadalong isip talaga ako na i-recommend ng device na to ay yung kanyang presyo this thing retails for 16,990 pesos Actually, kung tutusin, okay naman tong Oppo F3 as a device. I mean, kagaya nga na sabi ko dun sa aming Oppo F3 Plus review, sobrang konti lang yung available na devices that is out in the market today that offers a dual front-facing cameras. Now ngayon, kung sobrang gusto nyo talaga magkaroon ng ganong feature at di na talaga yung mga paghihintay, then go, pwede nyo na siyang kunin. Although, if you're willing to wait, ng mga siguro ilang months, then sigurado naman na pababa rin ang presyo ng device na to. And by then, siguro yung magiging presyo niya ay reasonable na. So yeah, this has been Patrick Anieta from Nepigix.com. If you want to learn more about this device, make sure to check out our full written review link below. You might also hit the thumbs up button and share this video if you liked it. And just subscribe if you still haven't. Thank you for watching.